Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has recently released a brand new version of the Power Toys app for everyone running Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if we head over to Power Toys, this latest release is version 0.66.0. And if you are using Power Toys, you can just click on check for updates, which will make sure your app gets updated. Now, this is quite a significant update as it does bring some key changes and highlights uh, in this latest release and if you have experienced any issues while using power toys since the last update then microsoft has also rolled out um, numerous fixes bug fixes and improvements bringing general um, fixes and improvements to some of the different tools and utilities so if you have experienced any problems just make sure that your app is up to date now the first uh, key change is that this release version 0.66 and now includes a self-contained .NET 7, which basically means um, that .NET, or in this case .NET 7, is no longer required to install it standalone before PowerToys actually works, which before this release was, wasn't the case. And if we just head over to the installed apps, apps and features list, uh, previously the Microsoft Windows desktop runtime, which is currently on version 7, had to be installed standalone. And as mentioned with uh, this latest release, it's actually now included um, and is self-contained in Power Toys, which I think is a great move. Now, I'm just heading to the next a new feature and change. Um, that's to do with the text extractor, which is a tool um, that makes it convenient for you to copy text from anywhere on your screen. And um, basically just to enable the text extractor tool at first, we use the Windows key Shift and T and that enables the tool and now it's possible to pick which of the installed OCR languages is used by text extractor by selecting it in the right click context menu as you can see and in case you're wondering OCR stands for optical character recognition and is basically the process that converts an image of text into a machine readable text format so that's a nice improvement if you are using text extractor now available in this latest release and then the third and final key highlight and improvement uh, for this version upgrade is to do with quick accent which is an, an alternative way to type accented characters and that's useful for when a keyboard doesn't support that specific accent and they've added a setting to sort the order of the accented characters by usage frequency in quick accent so if you do use the quick accent utility that will just make sorting through those characters um, a lot simpler and easier and as mentioned over and above that um, a lot of other improvements and fixes have rolled out in general for different tools and in case you are unaware a power toys lets you tune and streamline windows for a better experience for greater productivity and is available as well um, for windows 10 and windows 11 and you can download power toys um, uh, from the github page which you can access by just clicking on release notes if you are using the app which by the way will also give you access to a more in-depth look um, at the change log for this latest version and you can also get power toys through the microsoft store if you are interested so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one